I did I never really publish my apps on any of the app stores or make it make these apps available so it was a huge surprise that I was I was able to get my app into the congressional app challenge and it, you know it makes me more confident that I can perhaps market my uh, market my applications to uh, some local competitions yeah it was actually really exciting news and it really validated two main things for me so one is that there is a need for such an app that like people other people see the potential in having such an app and it's something that offers a lot of value and this has actually inspired me to take keep me safe further and like keep updating and keep working on the app so it can really help the people who need it and the second thing that the congressional app challenge has inspired me is it has given me the confidence that I do have the app development skills to win such a competition against so many other strong competitors and this has really given me like a lot of confidence in my skills and has given me more motivation to pursue computer science as well as technology throughout college and hopefully as a future career. Yeah, so after speaking with our congressman yesterday, um, uh, we were really inspired by winning the Congressional App Challenge because um, it like serves as an example for like how uh, students can make some real impact on with their uh, apps and like combined with the use of technology, like it's really easy to like take students' voices into account and like when they build apps like how we did, like it can actually have a measurable impact. So really proud of that and the impact that DataMe potentially can have. So it really motivated uh, us to keep doing our project. We wanted to keep on going and to establish a like establish a broader community of learners and personally for me it was like just like a validation that oh what we're doing is actually right because we we both self-learned um, app development so it taught us that we can like, really tack on any problem that we, we want to face yeah so winning the congressional app challenge has been really inspiring for me since i've had the opportunity to interact with many other students who also want to use their computational skills to address problems within their community and throughout this experience i've met lots of talented students and seen many many amazing app ideas so the congressional app challenge has definitely inspired me to continue using my skills for good in both my local area and then also the larger community Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think yesterday at the app demos, um, we at the end we had to go into breakout rooms and meeting other individuals. I actually met another woman in STEM who won in her district for PA. And so talking with the other winners in Pennsylvania actually was really inspiring hearing the purpose of their apps and what inspired them to do it. And she also talked about her experience as a woman in STEM with Girls Who Code, etc. And so it actually makes me really excited for the future as I go into college, like how I can also play into closing the gender gap in STEM. After winning the Congressional App Challenge, um, this inspired us to keep finding ways to um, positively impact our communities. And it also um, helped us and reassured us that uh, Grocery Buddies is an, a very efficient and unique way to greatly benefit the community during these tough times. Um, so all of us did have some programming experience before this, um, whether it be through like AP classes or um, I know two of us are involved in the computer science club at our school. And so um, while we did have a lot of program experience, um, we didn't have so much with app building, but I think it was like a fun area that all of us did want to reach out into. And then with like quarantine and social distancing, um, we had a lot of free time on our hands over the summer, even if we were turning juniors. And so we thought it would be a great opportunity to actually try something new and learn something new, build something. And so um, over the summer, we kind of experimented with a couple of different platforms to learn app building. And then we settled upon Android Studio to actually build our app. And so, yeah. Sure, so like, as I mentioned before, like we were connected to all these like facilities and like talking to like different foundations, for example, we were also connected to the NSF and like code.org. So not only like uh, the impact of our device is like shown within the visually impaired community, but like people who want to like actually, like for example, like high schoolers just like us that might not have the same resources that don't go to TJ, like showing our design took to build this like entire like system and like distributing to like other people and seeing how they, they can like create something um, with like resources that are, that are like pretty simplistic to find online and creating the same sort of ideas to help service their own communities. Yeah, so Congressional Lab was a springboard 
yeah, to yeah. just the national industries for the blind but we got like a great panel of people who are willing to listen to our ideas at the nib uh, who connected us with bism and from there we're uh from there we got a great panel of people and it's just branching on from there and so uh we're planning on uh getting beta tested from bism which congressional app really helped a lot with and so uh, winning the Congressional App Challenge inspired you and changed your outlook on technology? Um, so the Congressional App Challenge has inspired me uh, just by encouraging me to pursue computer science as a career. Um, I've been able to understand that coding can have a direct impact on the world that I, and that I'm pr actually pretty good in the field. Um, the challenge has also inspired me to continue to push farther so that my generation can have a voice in politics. Um, Representative Jana Schakowsky, um, she talked with me a little bit about what she has done to involve young people in politics and has given me a ton of advice about the field. So I have to thank her a lot for that because it's inspired me to continue my mission of and the purpose of Do Gen Z. Yeah.